What's going on guys? Tall as fuck here and today we have Diablo 4 gameplay on PC. So today I'm going to show you guys the best sorcerer build that I currently have came up with. Um, so I will admit that, you know, starting in the beginning of the game and building up to like level 40, 50, I would say around 50, I had a specific build, which was the Arc Flash build. But at the moment, I'm currently running like a customized version of that, and yeah, it's it's very deeply customized. It's not like most builds that you've probably seen on YouTube. Making this video because I figured that, you know, I haven't really seen anybody with this build. Um, but then again, I haven't been on YouTube watching builds videos in a while. Um, I would say like a couple days, but basically I call this the Arc Lash Explosive build. Um, slash frozen stun enemy build whatever you want to call it so let's go ahead and get right into it i'll show you guys my exact build uh skill set abilities um aspects everything that i have on all my equipment uh and show you guys exactly how it performs in a tier world tier 4 uh dungeon um not gonna put too much gameplay i'll put some here and there but for the most part i just want to show you guys what i have so First, let's get started with my ability tree, okay? So first I have Arc Lash, five uh, points on that, and then two on the next Arc Lash abilities right after. Then I have Fireball, specifically for the enchantment effect. When you kill an enemy, they explode into a Fireball for 40% of its damage. So this is normally 40%, but um, I added a skill uh, on the Paragon board. I got a skill ability that essentially uh, adds 20% enchantment ability effect so I ended up getting 20% more for that so every time enemies die they explode for 60% of its damage okay then I have ice shards um, 5 out of 5 uh, with the two abilities right after so this is specifically because um, when I freeze enemies um, I have a ability on one of my equipment where I freeze enemies, uh, it shoots ice shards at them. So I don't necessarily use it as an actual skill ability down here, but I specifically have it because when I freeze enemies, it starts shooting um, ice shards at anybody that's frozen, basically. Okay, then I have devastation, so we could specifically get this, elemental dominance, your core skills deal 15% increased damage when cast above 50 mana. Uh, I specifically have this because none of my abilities require mana. So I'm always above 50 mana, like always. Like all of these are just duration um, cooldowns, as you guys can see right there. Um, other than this one, but I mean, yeah, I never really took that into account. Because I recently started using Ice Blizzard, but um, you'll see, reason why I have this is because when I freeze people, like I said, it shoots the, the ice shards at them, okay? Next ability I have, uh, Chain Lightning and Charge Bolts. I don't use either of these attacks, but when I do use my ultimate, um, it does shoot random uh, electricity abilities. So basically, if you don't have, let's say, Chain Lightning checked off, then it won't use Chain Lightning in your ultimate. So it's good to have these. Um, I would say when I start upgrading my Paragon board or my other unlocks that I get where I get more skill points, I'll start adding the secondary abilities to that. But for now, I just have the first. Next one I have is Flame Shield. Um, then there's two second abilities to get heals for 50% of your missing life. So this is a really overpowered one. I do like that. It does save me. Um, then I have Glass Cannon. Deal 18% increased damage. Take 9% more damage. Um, I also have this. I don't know why I have this, but I'll probably change that out in the future. Um, ice armor, that's a good way to protect myself, uh, so I don't die. And Frost Nova, obviously so I can freeze people, because, again, that goes back to the ice shards ability, where it shoots ice shards at people when they're frozen. Next ability I have is Lightning Spear, specifically because it adds to my ultimate, um, as an attack, so I don't necessarily use this. Uh, next one, align the elements, um, specifically for this one, using a cooldown against 30% of your maximum health. So every time I get a cooldown ability, uh, it adds 900 uh, maximum life as a barrier for two seconds. Um, next one, I have Blizzard, and then the two abilities after that, specifically so I can freeze enemies. And basically when I freeze them, it'll essentially, you know, 
shoot ice shards at them and freeze them in place. And I typically just dump those all over the map when I'm around people. Um, next ability I have is Ball of Lightning and the two abilities after that. I don't use this, but I use this specifically for the ultimate ability that I will show you in a second. Um, next one, Permafrost. Frost skills deal 5% increased damage to elites. And then I use this specifically for this. You deal 9% increased damage to chilled enemies um, and, uh, and frozen enemies. 18% damage. So that's a really good one because people are constantly getting chilled or frozen. Um, and then here's my ultimate, which is lightning surges within you for 10 seconds. Whenever you cast a shock skill, random core conjuration or um, mastery shock skill is also cast. So this randomly casts any electricity ability. So that's why I have that. Um, unstable currents increases your attack speed by 25%. And then uh, unstable currents is active. Crackling energy continuously pulses and consumes no charges. So um, I should probably add that, to be honest. Uh, I don't know where it is. Um, anyways, uh, last ability, Shatter. After freeze expires, enemies explode for 25% of damage you dealt to them while frozen. So essentially, let's say you freeze an elite, right? And you hit him for 10,000 damage. You will hit them with an extra... When they exp when uh, they get out of freeze, they will explode for 25% of that 10,000 damage. So that's a really nice ability to have. It's going to end up hitting the elite and the people around him. Um, and then I also have other skills that apply to this um, and I'll show you guys right now. So my armors, um, this is just a healing uh, aspect. Um, this is increased armor for four seconds when you deal any form of damage up to 50%. This is good protection for me. Um, when you cast blizzard it will periodically spawn exploding ice spikes that deal 630 damage. Your ice spikes will deal 25% increased damage to frozen enemies. So whenever I basically I cast blizzard it'll shoot ice spikes out of the floor so look at this see the ice spikes that pop out okay so that's a really good one um, i'm just gonna run away because i'm not trying to fight right now um enemies that die while frozen have a 14 percent chance to unleash a frost nova um so basically when some, when an enemy dies if they're frozen uh the 14 percent chance for them to explode and freeze people around them um, this is, I just have this because it's my best boots that I have. And also, every time I, um, dash, it gives me, like, a quick burst of speed for, like, a quick second or so. So, that's the reason why I have that. Um, my actual weapon. So, uh, basic skills gain 60% attack speed. So, I've noticed a lot of people are constantly using, like, wands. But, I wanted to use the staff because I've seen way better damage on staffs. And I figured... The best way to compensate for the lack of speed is to get a, uh, you know, uh, ability that'll increase that speed. So essentially, um, the attack speed of a staff is one uh, 1.0 attacks per second. A wand is 1.2 attacks points per second. But when you add the 60% ability attack speed, it brings it up to 1.6 per second. So that's how quick the attack speed is. Um, let me quickly show you guys so you guys can have an idea of that. See how fast I attack? Okay, <laughs> I died, but um, I'm literally only playing with one hand. But regardless, I just wanted to show you guys how exactly how fast it attacks. Um, and then now we can get to my uh, amulet, which is, you know, you see all those abilities there. You deal 42% more damage to immobilized, stunned, or frozen enemies. So that, again, applies to when I... F Our main thing that we're doing is we're freezing people. Um, with Blizzard or with Frost Nova. So this will add 42% more damage to that. Um, obviously, if um, if I could have, I would have actually applied this effect to my main weapon because it would have given me 60% more damage dealt to frozen enemies. But I mean, I guess attack speed is good too. So it's not really a big deal. If a core skill hits five or more enemies, 25% of the resource cost is refunded. I don't really like this ability because I feel like I don't really use it as much, but um, because all my abilities are, uh, all my abilities are, I mean, I don't know how it would apply to it, but anyways, uh, explosions from the shatter key passive deal 39% increased damage if enemies die while frozen. So going back to this ability right here, so see how this is 25% of the damage you dealt to them while frozen? That ability here basically adds 
if they're frozen and it rather than doing so let's say an enemy dies when they're frozen rather than exploding for 25 percent of that it'll explode for 25 plus 39 so i'm essentially getting um 64 or what is it yeah 64 percent increase uh damage dealt to enemies um it causes an explosion for 64 percent of the damage dealt or some, something like that um but basically it stacks onto that other ability that i had um here's my attack power armor and life uh i do wish i can add a bit more to my strength because i feel like um as you guys saw a second ago like um my attack power is really good but it's just my specific um health is not really like where it should be i feel like so um yeah that's probably my next goal my weapon damage is 2400 um and yeah i'm level 66 i already beat the final boss for world tier 3 so i've already beat him twice actually on this build this is probably the most op build that i've probably built so far so yeah um here's my paragon board so i don't really i didn't really structure this as well as i probably should have um but this is basically what i have here's the enchantment master ability that i told you guys about your enchantments are 20 percent stronger um and then next thing i'm really going for is this right here because i have this other ability that adds 50 percent bonus to all rare nodes within range so essentially there's like 10 nodes right here it will basically add 50 percent increased to that but obviously i have to actually add you know points onto each one of those nodes uh oh wait no actually it's rare so whichever these are so 15 15 yeah so it'll be these uh for the most part so anyways let's go ahead and show you guys exactly how this build performs so we're on world tier 4 as you guys can see um so you guys are like three people you see how it instantly just blows them up i'm not ready and these are just regular hits these are not like they're not like some crazy op like abilities like as you guys can see a second ago i was literally just hitting them with regular attacks so i want to show you guys exactly how I freeze these enemies you guys see how they automatically just blow up this is world tier 4 so we'll take you guys into a dungeon and show you guys exactly how it performs in there all right so this is just a random dungeon I never really planned this so show you guys exactly how I perform when I'm fighting against big hordes of enemies. This is essentially what this build is. It's a crowd controlled build and it still does good against against um, against uh, bosses too. So it's not only so as, as you guys can see by uh, yeah, I'm, I'm for the most part I'm not even really attacking people. That was my frost shards shooting at them and basically dealing damage. So you guys can see they're basically all blowing up um, until that guy fucking shot me away but so as you guys can see look how everybody's just blowing up I'm not ready yet. yeah I, I just I, I hate that ability when people do that but yeah look at look how I'm just frying this guy so it, it's a very OP build and this is, you know, for the most part, this isn't like a fully maxed out, like, I'm sure there's lots of potential with this explosive arc glass build. Um, this is just like me kind of building something, whatever, not really putting as much effort into it. Um, I'm sure there's people that can probably make it even better. Yeah, I'm not even attacking, they literally just died. <laughs> so, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty sick build, I'm not gonna lie. Um, told a lot of my friends about it and they actually you know they're higher levels than me and they're essentially telling me that like wow like you know you're not really doing anything and you're essentially blowing everybody up so you know, so you guys blow that. See, see that chain reaction it just caused that's basically what it does it's just anybody this is tier 4 too on top of that and I'm level 66 I haven't even hit the recommended level yet 
I'm not ready yet. Cause freeze attack. You guys see that? Literally no effort whatsoever. You guys see how I'm just frying everybody. See all the lightning abilities just popping out. Like I said, no effort whatsoever. But like I also mentioned, I, I do need to uh, increase um, my health. So that's my only flaw that I feel like I have. As you guys can see, my damage is clearly not a problem. It's my health. But, you freeze enemies, that's all it really takes. I'm doing regular attacks, and regular attacks are not supposed to be that strong. Um, I do recommend, as well, that if you're going to do regular attacks on people, I would advise to do them in groups. Um, if I would feel, I feel like when you're fighting against one person, it doesn't feel as significantly good as you would if you had, like, five people. Um, but yeah. basically it so I can't open that so anyways um I'll show you guys the boss pretty much gonna cut the video short so there's that I need time to prepare that show you guys what happens when people come at me there you go there's a chain reaction blowing up and yeah, that's that's essentially what my build is. Anybody I fight, you freeze them, and they all just blow up like a chain reaction. That's all it is, literally. Um, there you go. There's a regular enemy. Um, let's see if we can find some more stuff to show you guys. I'm not ready yet. And I know I don't have like teleport and stuff, but that dash when you have quick movement speed right after that's very helpful. So I would advise if you could possibly find an ability ability like that that you should apply that as soon as possible because it's really helpful to get me out of tricky situations. Uh, mainly because I sacrificed um, my teleport for a blizzard ability. Okay, so let's see what else. Okay, so we have a boss that we're going to fight right here. I'll show you guys exactly what happens. We throw down to the boss. Okay, he just throws us. I need time. All you got to do is freeze him for the most part. Once you freeze him, it's a, it's a done deal. That's it. I just fought four elites. Took him out like nothing. Um, and that's it, uh, I can probably go and fight the boss to show you guys exactly what happens when you fight a world tier 4 boss at level 66. gotta put you gotta put blizzard all over the place because that's the that's for the most part the only way you're gonna take these guys out um it helps significantly as you can see i destroyed everybody with blizzard but i really need to up my heal game or my health game for armor because you can you can die in an instant if you're not paying attention um because i'm constantly just healing the whole time but hopefully we can turn up our armor and make that a little better. That's it. See how quick that was? I'm not ready yet. There you go. And that's that. As you guys can see, completely fried, per usual. 
This is definitely the most OP build I've possibly used, so... Anybody that says otherwise, I don't know what to tell you. You guys can continue using whatever build you want to use, I'm gonna keep using this. <laughs> there you go. Blow up. Literally, it's like no effort whatsoever. You just freeze and they all blow up. That's basically it. That's, that's the whole freaking build. Freeze blow up. Freeze blow up. That's, that's literally all you see happening. Freeze blow up. Okay. You guys want to freeze blow up? Let's freeze blow up. There you go. Freeze blow up. Freeze blow up. That's like the most common thing I'm gonna keep I'm saying. Freeze yet. blow up. All right, so now we have the boss. Let's go fight the boss. Let's kill these idiots first. Two hits, no effort whatsoever. As you guys can see it performs just as good with um with a regular boss. As you guys can see, look how I'm frying him, he's basically dead, and that's it. Boom done. World Tier 4 guys, level 66. I have not even hit the recommended level and I'm already doing that to people. Anyways guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you guys would like me to put this into a physical build, um, like on a website or something, uh, please leave a comment down in the comment section down below. Um, or you guys can simply just watch it in the video and try to pause and slow it down. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, one of my friends told me, he said, you know, go ahead, throw this up online. Uh, it's a really good build. He's like, it's probably the best sorcerer build that he's seen. So I figured I'd do you guys a favor. I did also have a few people on YouTube comment section that were telling me to post this. So uh, I went ahead and took that advice. And even though I didn't want to sit here and have to render and edit and all that stuff, mainly because this video I knew was going to end up being at least over 20 minutes. Um, I still ended up doing it, so hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys like this video. If you guys have any questions, concerns, any other things that you guys, you know, need some assistance with, feel free to, you know, go ahead, leave a comment in the comment section down below. And uh, stay tuned. Um, I might possibly start posting some more videos about Diablo 4, um, just to give, like, some updates on my build. Um, and, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and take care, guys. Later.